Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the GE Easy reversible apron. You will find a free downloadable PDF pattern under free patterns on our website, geequaldesigns.com, and there you will find all of the cutting measurements. We're going to need three fabrics for our apron. I have my front, my back, and my waistband. So I have all my pieces cut out. I'm going to start with the two large rectangles from the back and the front of the apron. So the main body of the apron, we're going to lay them right sides together. And then take that sandwich and fold it in half so that the corners are even. So this is four layers of fabric. What you want to make sure here, if you have directional fabric, you want to make sure that they are laying just like you're looking at it. So this would be the bottom of the apron. So we are going to round the corner of the bottom two corners of the apron. So for this task, I have a roundup tool designed by Terry Atkinson by Creative Grids. But you can also just use a plate. What we're going to be trimming off here is equal to about a 10 inch circle. So you can find a dinner plate that's about that size. But I love this tool for rounding corners of multiple different things. So we're just going to cut the corner off. And now we have a nice rounded corner. And the first thing we're going to do with right sides together, you are just going to sew all the way around with your approximate quarter inch seam. And then we're going to turn the apron piece and um, leave the top open and then turn it, press it really good, and then top stitch. So I'm going to go through all of that before we go on to our next step. Before we turn, I like to, since we're doing rounded edges, just to clip my curves just a little bit. So what you want to do is just make little slits. Just make sure you don't go too close to the seam. Just clip the curves. This will just make it a smoother curve when you turn it and press it out. As you can see, I just top stitched about an eighth of an inch around the whole edge that we sewed and pressed. So now I'm going to set this aside. We're going to do a little prep to our waistband. So the two strips that you cut for the waistband, you want to start by piecing them together, just sewing them together um, with a straight seam. You want to press the seams open, and then you want to press your whole long strip in half, wrong sides together like this. We're going to make a tapered end on the end of the waistband. So I'm just going to grab my cutting mat here. I stack them up. And what you want to do is I have my, uh, my folded edge on the bottom, my raw edge on the top. So you want to take a ruler that has a 45 degree angle uh, line on it because I want to cut it tapered down from the fold inwards. So I'm just going to use that 45 degree line to align with my raw edges, slide it in so that I can get a cut here, and then just taper our edges like this. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Next part we're going to do with our apron is find the center and create a, uh, two pleats on it. Now, of course, if the measurements of the apron may be a little, if you wanted to make it for a child or something, these are so easily adjustable. You can make them wider. You can make them shorter, obviously, either way. So very, very flexible. So we're going to find the center. I just fold this in half, find my center, and I mark that with a pen.
once we have the center marked, you want to mark two little dots six inches and seven inches from the middle. So I'm just going to find my ruler and place the seven inch line on that mark that I did first. So I know the outer edge of the ruler is seven and then one inch from that is six. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I have seven inch mark right here. So what we're going to do here is create two pleats and all we do is take the inner marking and match it up with the outer marking to create a pleat like this. I like to give it just a tad bit of a press and then we're going to pin that in place. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Take the inner mark, match it up with the outer, creates the pleat. And so now we have our center mark still here and it's time to put our waistband on. So we want to open it up the way we pressed it and place that center seam that we joined the strips, match that up with that center mark. And here I'm actually just going to be using clips because we're going to roll this up and sew this all at the same time. So I'm going to grab all my clips and clip them this way. So as you can see, I'm clipping the bottom, the flat side of the clip on this side because I'm gonna turn it over later. So more clips, the better. I always say with this part, we don't want anything to slip away. Going down the other side. These are Really handy wonder clips. Something that any quilter should have, whether you do much of different type of sewing projects or not. Two more here. And then we're gonna use what we call the burrito method to sew both sides of the waistband onto the main body. So we're just gonna flip this over so now the waistband is on the bottom. And he, here on this side, we're going to take the apron main body part and roll it up really tight all the way up until we see the bottom of that waistband. We're going to bring that around over. First, we're going to match up the centers and then just use the same clip by clipping everything together. So we're going to be sewing this whole thing just in one seam. All the way around. And you're making sure that you don't catch any of that rolled up apron in here. You're going to have plenty of space to get the sewing machine foot to sit on there and make the, a nice stitch. So just keep pushing it away. And now once we have this clipped, what we're going to do here is um, the first we're going to do, I start usually on this end and I'm going to back stitch and then sew all the way down, but I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to keep going all the way, folding this. So stitching my waistband ends all the way to here and then down this way. So this is all whole. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to turn around and flip this over and sew the other side of the waistband, but we're going to leave an opening gap about this big. So I'm going to put a clip here just so I remember that's where I'm going to start when I'm, when I'm on the other side. So we're going to leave this opening. All right. So first step, start sewing here and go all the way down. As you can see, I sewed from this side and then all the way down 
tapering my end. And before I turn this, I always clip the, the little corner off to make my point better. But at this point now, I'd be ready to flip this over, leaving that little gap here, and sewing the same thing on the other side of that waistband. I have another piece that I've already done that with. So I have everything sewed from the corner and down, and then with a gap opening on the other side. Here's my opening. And this is how I trimmed the point of my waistband so I can easily turn it. So now we're going to open this up and turn everything right side out through this opening. So I start by pulling my main apron, apron piece out and through. It's always a fun moment when you see it can all come together. Once you have everything turned, I start by pressing my main part here of the waistband. So really pressing the seam up and away. And the other side, making sure it's pressed up and away. Now these aprons are perfect to make with our stash builder bundles if you want to make multiples for family members because you need a half yard of each so you make multiples. So now as far as the rest of the waistband, we want to press that flat, push the seam out, give it a good press. On the other side, you will have the little opening that we left open. So what you want to do is just fold these raw edges back and give it a press so everything is aligned with what was sewn because we are finishing off with a top stitch along the outside of the whole waistband. Kind of tying everything together. So once you have this all the way pressed, I'm going to show you on my previously made one. We want to just top stitch along the whole outer edge of the whole waistband. So we're top stitching about eighth of an inch inside on, on sewing on top of the waistband. So you might want to match seams with your waistband. So all the way. So as we top stitch where that opening was, that will take care of closing it. And we go all the way around and your apron, G E Z apron is ready to be put on and put to work. I hope you enjoyed making the G E Z napkin. It is so quick and easy, and you can make it with favorite fabrics. You can make them for all the different personalities of your friends and family. And then what's next? Just put it on and get to work in the kitchen. Thank you for watching.